Susan's a madman right now. Susan gave me the mortgage form two days ago and I uploaded it to Facebook. Now I guess they're going around telling everybody I fucking stole the mortgage form from them. Well, I'm just trying to, well, you know what? Since you gave it to me, I'm going to try to get a cheaper rate. Julia was out in the front yard taking pictures of the front yard earlier. And then Susan all of a sudden flies off the handle while I'm in the back bedroom after I came back from the front yard having to smoke. Now they're trying to put a restraining order on me. They get to say all I do out here is talk shit out loud to the neighbors. And I got hundreds of videos uploaded. They get to say I'm taking pictures of all their private stuff. Look at how many times the police were out here back in May. They didn't arrest me then. It's June 27th, 2024. When the Jesuit order was founded on September 27th. 27th, today is the 27th. I know different month, June, but same number. So I'm in trouble for uploading a mortgage statement that Susan Dunn gave to me, complaining that they're, they'll never get it paid off. So I upload it to Facebook so I can get a cheaper mortgage rate. Now, for them to accuse me of invading their privacy, that's an entrapment. That's entrapping. That's Susan gets to fucking use the law against me that I'm committing elderly abuse and identity fraud. How true is that, Brad Pope? Lyon County Sheriff Nevada deputy, when Brad, when the Pope from the Vatican spoke to United States Congress in 2015, and according to Supreme Court law, church and state are supposed to be separate. You know what, you would be doing this to me anyway, even if I didn't uh, mess up evil on Facebook 10 years ago. You'd still be uh, doing this to me anyway. Look at everything else I upload that Susan Dunn gets to fucking disregard and just zero in on the fact that I uploaded their mortgage. And I obsess on 666 and my social security number being 0018 and that my sister was born on November 18th. My last four digits of social security is 0018 and my sister was born on the 18th. It's all coincidences I obsess on. Isn't that true, Brad Pope? None of them are connected. It's all paranoia for me. Isn't that true? Dude, I'm not even allowed to contribute towards paying off the mortgage around here without being accused by Susan Dunn of invading privacy when they gave me that mortgage form. No, Julia Bice is Jesuit instructor and Susan's a Jesuit. And in the state of Wisconsin, they hire attorneys directly from uh, Loyola University. Wisconsin Jesuit University to practice law and government. Jesuit Law School. So this is why Susan gets to put on this act that I'm the one that's committing elderly abuse and privacy invasion. I know this is a state in Nevada and not Wisconsin, but what does that say about the rest of the states? A practice known as diploma privilege. Wisconsin unique among American states allow graduates of accredited law schools within the state to be admitted to the Wisconsin State of Bar. This is a church. A law school that's also a religion. While Susan gets to put on this front, they support Donald Trump and they're for the Bill of Rights. They turn around and file a restraining order on me for the third time.
and look at the information I got attached to this, the mortgage statement. It's not an invasion of privacy, unless you're a liar. Marxist Central Bank with full credit monopoly dictates governmental policies, overalls administrations, beats Congress into submission to its will, uses the national treasury as a branch bank of its own, compels the government to withdraw from circulation, 150 million of its own gold, and gets another mortgage on the Republic whenever it needs one in its business, then restoring the Pope's temporal power. Lyon County Sheriff Brad Pope in Nevada. And here's Pope Francis in the year 2015 speaking in the United States Congress. I am not breaking any laws here doing this. No, breaking the law is when you file a restraining order, false charges. What karma is going to come back on you, Brad Pope, if you enforce this crap of Susan's for the third time? Do you think you're going to get shot in pain? In a live fire scenario, this surveillance network that you gaslight turns its back on you? Do you is that what you want, Brad Pope? I don't want that for you. What you enforce lawlessness and you lie about your practice of karma. When one of your sheriff deputies gets shot to death on the, in the line of duty, how's that not fucking karma? You're a hypocrite. June 27, 2024.